Please welcome Ms. Lisa Leslie from the USA. National Basketball Federation is honored, and that Mrs. Lisa Leslie has a player into the 2022 class of the FIBA Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. President. Ms. Leslie, the floor is yours. Wow, what an honor. <laughs> I'm really excited to be here. Thank you to FIBA for honoring me with this prestigious award. Thank you to Andres and everyone who's been involved. Um, it is beyond a pleasure to represent my country, Team USA, um, I obviously made my first team when I was in the 11th grade. Um, and listen, I played for Los Angeles. I played for California, playing at the University of Southern California. But nothing's been more an honor than to wear the red, white, and blue and to represent our country. Um, I'm so thankful to USA Basketball and that program that uh, myself with so many of my USA uh, Olympic teammates, we had an, uh, an opportunity to play. Um, together. My, my roommate was Dawn Staley. I got a chance to play with the amazing Theresa Edwards, who's already been inducted into this Hall of Fame, as well as Katrina McLean, who were basically the, the leaders when I was the young high school kid coming in, and I was able to follow in their footsteps and understand what it meant to represent our country. And to represent our country has really been more than an honor because I got a chance to be a role model to so many other young people. But when I tell you that putting on that uniform, it is a certain level of responsibility that we carry to represent our country. And although it's not war, it really feels like we're going to war because we have the opportunity to play against so many of you in representing other countries. And that raises our blood and our level and our fight and our heart to want to win um, the best that we can. And so um, we didn't always win. The first time that I put on the USA uniform, we went to Spain. And um, as you're going to meet one of the Spanish coaches here tonight, we lost uh, in Spain. Um, I think we placed like seventh or eighth place. And that was the first time that I had ever experienced losing. But I remember how excited other countries were whenever they would beat Team USA. And so I then um, got a chance to move up to the national team. And my first experience was playing in the world championships um, in Australia. And we lost to Brazil, which you just saw an amazing coach, uh, Barbosa. And they, uh, they kicked our butts. <laughs> um, and we lost. But one of the things that happened there was that um, our team shared the same bus. And we had to ride on the bus with Team USA on one side and Brazil on the other. And you know, if you've ever played against Brazil, whether it's soccer or basketball, they cheer like crazy. They have the drums and everything playing. But this particular time, they beat Team USA. Um, they advanced to the gold medal round, but they also decided to shave their coach's head on the bus because they beat us. So it was in that moment that um, I realized and I told my teammates when we got off that bus, we will never lose again. And so the reason why I have so many gold medals is because Brazil. So you guys blame Brazil because they kicked our butts and celebrated in a way um, that really sent a message home. So I had a great chance, to, again, to play with so many amazing teams. and. While we have taken so much pride in trying to be dominant in the world of women's basketball, we've also had an opportunity to raise the level of um, support in women's basketball around the world. And we've seen the growth 
of the game, whether it's been in Italy or in Australia or in China and just all around the world. It's been a blessing to have this role, to, be a, to have this opportunity to be a role model. And I also want to thank all of the men in the room because we recognize you as allies. We appreciate your support of women's basketball and helping us to move the needle, helping us to be role models to so many young girls in all these different countries around the world. I would remember we would get up so early in the morning and practice at 5.30 in the morning and 6 o'clock in the morning a.m. because we knew that there were women practicing and playing basketball all around the world ahead of us. Whether you're here in Europe or you're in China, we're like, they are already up practicing, so we got to get up. And so it's the idea that the world really is our playground. We are all one. And it's been an amazing opportunity to travel the world, to learn about different cultures, to learn to speak another language in Italy. Ciao. It's not that good, but I did learn some Italian. I got a chance to live in Russia and play there in Russia. And I would have never had the experience of understanding the world and connecting the world and understanding God's people if I had never picked up the basketball. So I'm so thankful to my family, my mom who supported me throughout my whole career, my sisters, my lovely husband, Michael, who's here with me tonight. And we're experiencing now that we have children just how hard basketball really is. <laughs> But I want to say thank you to my family because I really didn't get here alone. I've always had so much love and support um, of picking up that basketball and wanting to be the best in the world um, has really been not just an individual effort, but it took my family and support and sacrifice. So I thank them. And then lastly, I, again, I can't say enough about my teammates. All the one getting an individual an award and in this induction um, I could have never made it without all of those other women who stood by me uh, year after year, who's thrown me that ball, helped me rebound, helped me up off the floor through all the blood, sweat, and tears and the sacrifice that we made for our country. But I would never trade any of it, any of it ever. It's been more than a pleasure to represent our country, and it's been more than a pleasure to play on the biggest stages in the world. So thank you. Thank you, Ms. Leslie. Congratulations again.